Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So earlier this week, Microsoft started rolling out our next optional bug fix C release update for Windows 10, KB5036979, to the Release Preview Channel Insiders, where the update is undergoing its final testing before it starts rolling out to the stable version, I would suggest, starting next week, Tuesday, the 23rd of April. Now, that video will be in the end screen if you'd like more info, but there was one new Windows 11 feature that was listed in the release notes according to Microsoft, which is listed as the update starts the rollout of account-related notifications for Microsoft accounts in Settings Home. So that's your Settings Home page um, in Windows 10. Now, we did touch on this a little bit in that video, but I just want to go a little bit deeper because it does show us some interesting information regarding notifications or in certain circles they would also be called ads because it says the feature displays notifications across the start menu and settings and it's all about how a Microsoft account connects Windows to your Microsoft apps. So basically in a nutshell it means now that Microsoft if you are using a local account is wanting you to switch over to a Microsoft account and obviously they're using these notifications uh, to kind of uh, persuade you in that direction. Now, this is still in preview, so it hasn't rolled out yet to stable. But if we head over to a screenshot um, provided by the good folks over at Neowin, here we can see the uh, notification banner in settings. And by the way, as mentioned, we could also see something similar in the start menu. So it says sign into your Microsoft account. You'll be able to back up your files and photos to keep them more secure. So I think this is going to cause a bit of debate in certain circles because... Um, Although Microsoft is calling this a notification, I think some would suggest that this is a ad and an advertisement, especially if you are using a local account. That means um, you will then start seeing eventually these notifications or banners popping up at certain intervals, trying to obviously make you switch to a Microsoft account. And although this is a bit unfortunate, the good news is though, is that you are able to reduce the amount of notifications you will see by turning off a setting in the actual settings. So to do this, as mentioned previously, but just a quick recap, you head to your settings, privacy, and this is the setting you want to turn off. Show me suggested content in the settings app. Now what I would do is I would turn off all of these. I'll just keep this one on um, for uh, my search and so on, but to prevent a lot of these so-called um, interruptions, I would just turn all of these off. Um, they, they won't affect your everyday running of your PC. You can see I've got three out of the four turned off, and that means that you should see a lot less, if not at all, any of these notifications um, showing up in your settings and your start menu. But as mentioned, just wanted to bring that to your attention because we are heading into next week, and obviously um, there could be... a couple of surprises with that new feature and just wanted to keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.